I'm meteorologist Peter Hall with your NBC3 forecast. We had flash flooding late last night and early this morning. For the month, we ended up in Syracuse with 9.92 inches of rain, with two, two and a half inches of rain to three inches of rain just last night. That made it the fourth wettest month of any month of any year since records started in 1902 and the third wettest June ever as well. July 1st, here we go again. Now, it's not raining all the time. We'll have some passing showers and thunder showers, but also a little sun and a high in the year 77. One more shower possible tonight, a low of 57. So we take a look in July 1st. Just like June, we have some wet weather in the forecast again. But we've been talking about trying for drying after getting the fourth wettest month ever on record. I think we should do better. Now, there might be a little spritz, not Lisa Spitz to be confused with. This is a spritz. Really, so you know what a spritz is, right? What's a spritz? Just a little bit. A little bit. A couple. A smidge. A smidge. We don't want it just a smidge of spits because you need to have all of Lisa because she does so much for the show. She also times in during these weather casts, right, Lisa? She did a great job this morning. I love spending time with you, Pete. Right back at you. Anyway, what was my point? <laughs> I think the point was just a, a smidge of, of a few sprinkles early tomorrow morning possible. But otherwise, we're going to dry things out with sunshine. Friday should be sunny and dry. We might even be able to be Saturday and Sunday dry, too. I don't want to completely remove an isolated thunderstorm Saturday yet. A couple of our computer models are saying, whoa, whoa hold up. Might be a shower thunderstorm Saturday. But others say it could be dry. So I'm keeping a low chance of a shower thunderstorm for the weekend. But the point is we are changing the pattern a little bit here, which is good, considering it's been way too wet. So notice between 11 a.m. and about 2 p.m., we have an opportunity of new showers and thunder showers. Now after 2 p.m., I'm not saying it's going to be completely dry, but notice that there's less coverage, maybe only a sprinkle or a shower or two with some sun and a high in the mid excuse me, mid 70s. And then overnight tonight, maybe one more sprinkle or shower. Then as you wake up Thursday morning, there's going to be a lot of cloud cover and fog. And yes, maybe a spritz early. Then clouds should give way to increasing sunshine on Thursday. Lisa Spitz will be happy there's no more spritzes in the forecast Thursday afternoon. And I'm sure everybody else is going to be happy, right? Too much rain too often in June. We're not going to see any rain Thursday afternoon. And look hour by hour behind me. Thursday night, dry. Friday, dry and sunny. Just in time for the last day before the holiday weekend. Well, wait, someone's calling me. Hello? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Okay, I understand. Okay. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. Bye. That was Laura Hand. She said that it needs to be dry for any weekend plans. And I'm trying. Voting forecast. I like how the phone just you goes up that? by itself. This is like the Rowan and Martin's laughing. Now that's going way back. Or like the Carol Burnett show or something. Again, is she going to boycott her weekend's best bets if it's not nice? Um, I don't think she does. But we're going to get a lot more sunshine in the seven-day forecast, Lisa and everybody at home. Have a look. Again, sunny skies developing Thursday afternoon, 74. Sunshine Friday, 79. I'm keeping a small chance of thunder Saturday. Otherwise, sunshine Saturday and Sunday, lower 80s. Anytime, anywhere. CNYCentral.com.